mysterious disappearance of Ben Davies in 1903 truly is an unsolved mystery. Even in its time, it was considered to be unparalleled in the history of black country mining enterprise. One of my elder readers once related to me that as a child he and his friend used to go down the grove pit, not to work, but to see. After having been given permission by Horace Taylor, the fireman, the role of a colliery fireman was to carry out inspections on the presence of gas, ventilation, the state of the roof and sides, and general safety. Each district in the mine had to be inspected by the fireman before commencement of a shift. My reader used to take his friend to see Ben Davis's jacket, which had been left hanging up in the mine since the day of his disappearance. The disappearance of Ben Davis is shrouded in mystery. During the shutdown period at the pit, men were put on a rotor to check that everything was safe in the pit. These men were known as checkers. Each checker would be expected to take with him one boy, an apprentice. When it was his turn, as usual, Ben took off his coat and hung it on his coat hook, then proceeded to enter the mine. On this occasion, however, Ben did not take anyone with him, reasons for which are unknown. After he went into the pit that day, he never came out and was never seen again. This rather curious case made the news in 1903 as an employee of Fishley Colliery Company inexplicably vanished off the face of the earth. The article stated the following. One day, as usual, Benjamin Davis, pit fireman or overman, descended into pit number three to make examinations of workings. Davis took one district and his mate took another and, as usual, the two should have met in a specified place. Davis did not turn up, and his mate, after making a thorough search for himself, communicated the strange circumstances to those on the bank. Everyone on the bank started looking for Davis, and the workmen started a minute search underground, but the missing man could not be traced. Various theories were made respecting his fate, but the prevailing theory was that he had by some means been buried in the pit although this was never finally ascertained. Benjamin's jacket was found near the bottom of the shaft and remained the only evidence of his disappearance. These rather bizarre circumstances led to a very level-headed memorial service at the bank of pit number three, in which he had descended. The memorial service for the missing man was held on August the 3rd, Bank Holiday Monday, at Fishley Colliery Company. Around 3,000 people from the local district gathered to pay their last respects at this memorial service for a man who simply disappeared in the mine one day. According to the Star, on 7th of October 1903, only Davis's jacket, which was found near the bottom of the shaft, remains as evidence of a disappearance which is unparalleled in the history of the black country mining enterprise.